Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, fellow acolytes and Minecraft interested people. We are back with another episode of Seftag Ages. Uh, very nice mod pack so far for version 1.12. Oops. <laughs> uh, today's goal is to uh, get the last advancements that we need. So uh, first off we want to take care of learning how to make farmland even if I can craft it right now there something went wrong there uh, right and then we want to go down the automation path for um, horse powered grindstones right and then we have want to go with the um, advancements for the rituals for like Indian Native American music making rituals <laughs> and then of course we will do the flame grilled whopper and the smelter so oops i think this episode is all about finding a villager civilizations over there okay and learn from them uh, how to make farmland and I think the first villager that, that we visited um, had farmland ready for us, but we did not have stuff that he wanted. So uh, let's make some bone meal because I think he needed bone meal. But I'm not too sure. Well, anyway. Can you... no? Okay. So, rotation... rotation it is. I don't know the ratios here, so I'm gonna do it until I have 10 of these bone flakes and then we'll see uh, how much bone meal it will generate. Okay. Flaked bow. No, 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 no. Don't you rotate. <laughs> Feather can go away. Okay, and the flaked bone goes here, and we move on. Also, let me try one thing here. The so now I've got a sharp bone here. Hey, and you can repair stuff. Okay, nice. Because the sharp bone somehow still is a very good weapon. Okay, so now we just have to grind all of these flaked bones. And hopefully we do not, do not need more than... Oh, nice, uh, extra bone meal. Uh, do not need more than 10 bone meal. Or else we are screwed. Just sitting here in my uh, little mud hut, grinding my bones. Just minding my Neanderthal business. Okay, well, oh. looking good so far. Okay, we got our 11 bone meal, that's good. And a few more berries. And now let's just sleep the night away and hopefully find the farming villager. So it was in this general direction. Oh yeah, the sharp bone is a very good weapon. Oh no! <laughs> a creeper is also a very good weapon. 
Okay. Okay. Just four hits for a creeper. It's actually nice. Okay. And also the rivers have piranhas. We have to remind ourselves of that. Okay. Apparently not here, which is very good. Again, civilization is here. Oh, and what's that? Oh, we don't have Vila, that's that's right. Um, holy moly. Okay. Okay. I am just just gonna ignore this. <laughs> Whatever it is. Okay, we've got lava here, that's probably interesting as well. Marker here, let's see. The lava. Done. Okay. Right there, there's the village and there's, oh, a black bear. <laughs> or, yeah, big boy. So hopefully the villagers, they lived in here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ah, I blocked one of them off. This should be the farm on them. Hello there. Yes. Here, take your bone meal and teach me how to farm. Okay. You can go back to your people now. I don't need you anymore. Good, that's that done. All right, we got our farmland, and then oh, yeah, my inventory is full. Uh, let's see what's what's involved here. Buffaloes. We need to find buffaloes. Perhaps we can spawn some with music. I don't know. Uh, let's go with the great leader. <laughs> um, advancement. And also, I don't know, we have footsteps now, but now our breaking animation is a clock. Which is not too bad, actually. Perhaps it's a mod. I mean, a Minecraft clock is also useful for showing gradients of stuff. But it's a little bit uncommon, to say the least to see a clock appearing on a block. Okay, let's see, get, get rid of this and just walk back. I mean, we've got cows here, so where the cows are, there should be a buffalo. Hopefully, hey, an egg. Gives proteins, thank you. <laughs> Music, all right. Got them at these chests. Full of stuff. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, we need a lead, right? So, a lead is made with leather cordage. Leather cordage is made from leather strips, and leather strips are made from leather. And leather is tent height on the drying rack, and tent height is dry height together with ground resin. Okay, I've got two ground resin. That's good. Um, this dried height, so I can make ten height from that. Uh, again, yeah, right with my fluid water here. Boom, ten height, and ten height on a drying rack will turn into leather. Okay, boom. What do we have here? Oh, we have a leg spike here. 
Ah, ladder. Ah. Apparently I made some some more stuff. Okay. Somewhere I got a salt tide. What's with that? Salt tide will turn into dry tide. Okay. Boom. Oh, there's more ladder. Gimme. Okay. One ladder with the working knife. Broken. Can I can I combine it still? That would be the question. Okay. A working blade and oh, I don't have it with me. God damn it. <laughs> uh, you can go back in here and there's the working blade. So a working blade combined with the leather gives us the leather strips. All right. Okay, and what mm, does the leather strip do to become cordage? We need string. Okay, so it was like this and like that. No. Okay, there's the leather cordage. And uh, let's get rid of the gunpowder. Okay, now we've got the leather cordage. And now we just need two more pieces of string, which we have in our inventory. Gl very good. And then... Oh. It's apparently diagonal. There we go, we have a lead. Now we just need a horse, apparently. Okay, we can craft a saddle. Use a saddle to travel around much faster, or craft a horsepower grindstone. Let's see. Horse power grindstone. Needs two leads, a stick, and six stones. Okay, so one more lead. And uh, do I have still some string left? No, but I've got cotton. And I can use the work plate and three cotton to make myself some string. Hopefully that's enough. Oops. Boom. Three string. Okay. Uh, it's enough to make another lead. Okay. Very good. So, leather strips and string. The crafting rock. Of course. Good thing I've got some rocks around here. Come with me, my friend. You will become a new crafting rock. Okay. There's a leather cordage. And this two string. Okay. Now two oops, two strings, one stick and six smooth stone. Of which I got nine. Okay, got that. Horsepower. So, let's see. Um, no more chopping wood by hand. Place a horsepower chopper. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit, this goes on for a good amount, I guess. Among horses, you can use parrots, buffalo, pigs, cows, llamas, and wolves to work. Okay, we've got cows. Nice. Okay, where should we put this? Let's let's just put it right here. Hold the lead to reveal area need. Okay. I guess it's because of the grass.
seven by seven area. Seven by seven by two. So it sits on a rock. Or something. Uh, let's see here. Ah, now it it's it's okay. Okay. Uh, we need another lead. Okay, this means we need string. This means we need cotton. So this means um, I need to get my cotton seeds and plant them at at the location. Where we've got the water, and it's also night. Okay, so as long as oh, look at that! Do we have shears? We had flint shears at home. Oh, oh, we have them here. Sorry, little buddy, <laughs> but I need your stuff. Okay, here's water, right? Here are our fields. I'm just gonna plant my cotton here. Shark tooth. Hmm. Last time I checked, sharks were <laughs> a sweet water animal, but hey. Okay, work plate and fleece turns into string. Four string. Ooh, nice. Thank you, Mr. Sheep. I guess I should build you a fence sometime. So, instead of a fence, you get a nice two by two. With a window of some sorts. Okay. Yeah, right, we do not have any torches. Okay, it could be that our sheep will despawn in the night. But it's okay. Let's see here. What was a torch? Unlit fiber torch. Stick and some twine. I've got twine and I've got stick. Stick mm. and twine. Makes this guy. I can drop these. Okay and uh, the tiki torch is lit fiber torch with two sticks. Oops. Right there we go, lit fiber torch, two sticks. Okay. Moving along. Can now stick this torch on top of our sheep. Hello. <laughs> For our sheep area here. Boom. Okay. Hopefully he'll like it. I don't know if I need the torch here so the grubs grow faster, but anyway, I need a little bit larger area. And I guess you cannot make... Oh, now I can graft farmland per hand, which is good. Oh shit. Gives me dirt back. Yep. <laughs> I've played myself. Okay, but we can grow another cotton plant. So we do not need to molest sheep anymore. Anyway, with the current amount of string, we can make more leads. Okay, so I'm planning to do that. There we go, leather strip. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, this can go away, 
and this just needs two string. There we have our lead. Now I'm gonna catch myself a cow and bring it with me to my cow driven grinder. Right? Nice, there we go. Okay, so if I throw some bones in here, the cow, cow will walk around it. Nice. And it will grind these. Can I... Oops. Let's see where the output is. And let's see, bone meal, millstone, grindstone. Oh, from a bone block. Okay. And a bone block. It's just bone. I uh, see. Okay. So from bone shards or from, from shark tooth. Okay. So two, two times. Oh, yeah. Oh, it fills fills the middle. I see. Aha, uh -huh. and the flake bone just goes into my hand. Interesting. Okay, you can grind this while I'll take care of making a chopping machine. Right, so... Still have some time left. Oh man, I need to craft this stuff into twine. Okay, so... And throw this meat out. At chopping block. Chop. Chopping machine. Okay, two leads as well. The chopping one needs to be placed in the middle to use it. Uh, okay, I wonder though. Uh, I know, I don't have a whopper left. If I make a whopper. Uh, let's see if I place a block here. Okay, the cow doesn't mind. So if I delete this and place a chest beneath it. Does it work? That's what I want to find out. Okay. All right, but let's start with the shopping machine. So we need th <laughs> three leads again, which I have just enough material to craft. Can't wait to advance though, since I want a real working bench. Three letter cordages, right? So strings go here. But at least you're getting experience from crafting, which is nice. Okay, we've got that. I need a full wood block. Don't have one. Okay, not a problem. There we go. Uh, full wood block was down. Gonna right. Uh, one flint, and the rest was sticks. And two leads. And there we go. Chop, chop, chop. Okay. 
So the cow is happy because it got everything. Nice, and now you can make bone meal. Right, so this has to be a 7x7 seven seven area. Around this, so three in every direction. Okay, then we can have this as part of a way. One, two, three, and this is where it goes. Boom. Okay. All right, and now we still need a lead, and let's see if we can find another cow. Yeah, there's plenty around. Of course, we have to put protect our cows so later I need to make fences around my machines Boop. oh shit he doesn't want the cow apparently oh no okay there we go and we walk into the TP and sleep. It is night. Well, not yet, but now it's night. <laughs> no creepers around, please. Okay. Let's see. Okay, you made uh, quite a lot of bone meal. Advancement, pressing a lock, press charcoal into larger block using the horsepower press. Okay, so we just need a press now. A press, the horsepower press. Wood, 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 and the slab, and two leads and a stick. Okay, three more leads, so to speak. Is the sheep full of wool again? Yes, it is. Yeah, you know it's time for shearing. Next time you get more fleas or you're dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's add some more farmland. And this time don't fuck it up. Oh, it's a stone. Actually, I quite like the clock design. Okay. Of course, I... Oh, no, there they are. Never mind. I've got everything with me. Nice. And this should allow us to live uh, independent from sheep fleas now. Okay, eight strings. We need nine strings. <laughs> of course. Oh, shit. Okay. So, because we need more string, I would like to craft a whopper, right? Let's see how that goes. A wooden hopper is just a wood and the open chest. So I need way more wood. Which I don't have. Which is kinda good because then we can test out our new chopping block. Okay. Nice, we got fast decay. We don't. Well. We don't need the rock don't need the seeds. Okay, so now we've got three blocks of oak wood. Let's see what happens if they are placed into this mm. chopping block. Oh, you can only place one item at a time. Okay. All right, so the cow pulls up like... Oh, it's done. Mm. I think a whopper will help. It looks like, because you can place them right down here. Okay, but to be complete... Oh, alright. 
Oh, I, I thought I thought you only get one piece of wood, but apparently that's not true. Four slot hopper. I see. So I guess a normal whopper would be fine. Let's try. So... How was the primal chest? The primal chest was... Was a slab, I think. And what, or the open chest. Let's see. Chest... Uh, eight with a stone, okay. And dummy threw the stone away. Okay, there we go. Stone. Open chest. And now... Oops. Hopper form. And there we go. Whopper. Okay. So Whopper goes here. You cannot see the items, but if we make a chest, a primal chest, it should work. So I need more wood. Okay. Let's see. All right, five pieces should be enough. Go to the trustworthy cow. Okay. And wooden planks apparently turn into sticks instead of slabs, which kind of makes sense. Okay, and it needs two hex to produce one piece of... Okay. Alright, so, again, making an open chest. Or I call it open chest, but it's not an open chest. Uh, open chest is part of Botania, I think. Okay, the primal chest is just dark wood and normal wood. Oh my god. <laughs> dark wood and normal wood. There you go. Surrounding a chest. Boom. Okay, so the normal wood is in the plus. Wood planks, right? Okay. Mm, fuck it, I'm I'm gonna do it myself. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. so the couch chopper gives you more wood than you would actually make if you do it by hand. Good to know. Okay, and this plus any bark should give me the primal chest version two. Nice. Okay, let's try that out. Connecting it from the whopper to the chest. Okay, let's see. Getting rid of the whopper. I think hatchet is the right tool for that. Yeah. Connect it. Hey, and it fills. Nice. Okay, so we can automate our stuff here. Let's see... Do I have something else to crush, like mm. this shop? No. Hmm. Okay. So I could do it... Uh, I, have to, I have some ideas how to automate this stuff. Um, but I guess we're gonna do this in the next episode. Uh, because this is already getting a little bit long. 
So we made two machines today, which is really nice. So we do not have to do dirty labor, hand labor. So now we just have cows doing the service for us. And yeah, in the next episode, we are going to hopefully automate these. Since you can automate their outputs, I think you also can automate their inputs. Which means like probably a like so chest here and another hopper here sucking from the chest and then putting items in here i think so we'll see if that works in the next episode i hope you had as much as fun as i did and perhaps you learned something about the mod pack if you leave a like the episode leave a like leave a comment share it with a friend and if you want to see more consider subscribing makes the channel grow and it's always greatly appreciated. Anyway, mm -hmm. have a nice Tuesday. See you in the next episode on Thursday. Since there will be no um, Dragon's Dogma this week. This week gets two Minecraft episodes. Mm -hmm. Hope that's cool with you. Anyway, have a nice Thursday. Uh, Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye bye.